Hey, how's it going, guys? I hope you're all safe and enjoying your confinement. Uh, this is a short video I decided to make on the modifications I'm about to do to my DX12 Batman. Well, actually, I I did it yesterday. I've done it yesterday. Uh, I just before I decided to stitch him up and make it all permanent. I decided that maybe it's worth documenting it for for all, all the collectors out there who can see as I I mean that was the case for me I, I was seeing a lot of these body swaps on the X12 but nobody really explained to me how to do it so yeah I'll reverse engineer everything uh, so you can see what was the process and what's the effect hopefully it will be helpful for you so this is the semi finished bats uh, it's on it was supposed to be on Wolverine body, so TTM-19, I believe. Um, but I, when I started to do the mod, I, I didn't really like that body. It was a little too bulky, and I didn't have any Dremel tools to, to shave off the, the arms. So I went with another body I had, which was from uh, Chirut Imwe, like the blind guy from 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 Star Wars it's the same body as Deadpool and uh, and I think it's John Wick uh, it's a little more bulky than than your average body um, but I think it does the trick really well right here and that was my base um, I needed to Frankenstein a little bit because uh, I used the original arms four arms and I used a uh, different pair of legs, but that's another story. Anyway, so when we take the bats and remove all the things, come on. That's just a temporary cape. And the belt. going to see that it's still unstitched and unglued. So when you get your DX12, first thing you need to do is remove all of that stuff because you won't be needing that. And uh, yeah, and this one. So the first step is you need to remove the upper body armor. What you need to do is you need to unglue this this strap. It's glued like this. So you just need to heat it up a little bit and pry, slowly pry it open. When the glue lets go, you just do this and remove the armor like that. And the next thing you want to do is to unglue the second strap as well because you're gonna need it for later. Second thing is taking out that suit. So there's a thread that was hand stitched over here. You just need to cut one of the threads and it will come undone just like you see here. And that's where the tricky part comes in because underneath that suit you have, hold on, you're gonna have this guy. So that's the original body with the bodysuit. And it's it's a tricky prospect because uh, the, 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 the fat suit is glued to the body in a couple of places. And I'm gonna show you where. And it's really hard to take it off because of that, because that suit is, is, is sticking to the fat suit. The fat suit is glued to the body and the body is crap. So it was glued right here. And then it was glued on the thighs. The thighs are cut. I'm not sure if you can see it. Yeah, the thighs are cut. And it was, it was glued inside. And I think it was even glued on the on the lower legs. I can't remember right now. But yeah, it was, it was just really nasty. By the way, his arms are different. It's, they're not original, but it doesn't matter right now. So this is the original body. 
and it's uh, yeah. So we're gonna need it for later as well. So my body, I mean the body I used, looks a little different. Let me do it. Okay, we need to remove the the boots. Probably the ankle pegs as well. And now, slowly and gently, the suit will come off. Okay. This is the hardest part. But yeah, just massage it down. Okay, that's a little hard to do it on camera. Okay, we're back. So we have the suit and we have the body. So this is the body I used. Um, it had some foam glued over here, so I just removed it. It, it was it was just padded. And uh, I used the original arms, as I said. I didn't have any Dremel tools, so I would not be able to shave off those arms. So I just used the originals. They will have the gauntlets on them anyway, so you don't really see they're that skinny. And what I did is I uh, turned around the, the bicep part. Because originally the arm was like this. And when I put on the, the suit, um, this, 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 this uh, bit of the armor was just sticking out really in a really nasty way. When the arm was like this, so I just reversed it. The the bicep is, is flat, and uh, it looks much better this way. And you can't really see it under the suit. I mean, come on. Next up, I need to add the the the, the thigh enhancers, because these these pants are really really baggy. Without those, he looked like a like a hip hop artist from the '90s. And then I used uh, half of a cotton pad right here and I just taped it together. You just need half of one, like uh, half of the circle. And you just put it like that, tape it around, it's gonna be perfect. Don't overdo it. And uh, finally, that little sucker. That was the worst part. So. The original. That was the that's that's the original peg. The the one from that body was shorter. And I think a lot of those hot toys bodies come with with a short short peg. So it's it looks like this. Right? And this one is more than twice as long as this one. So what I needed to do is I needed to unscrew those screws, remove that, remove the original, pry this guy open as well, remove that peg, put it over here, screw it back together. So uh, now that that's done, he won't be looking like as if he's shrugging all the time. Oh, what else? I think... I think that's it. So yeah, so now... So now I need to get him back into the suit again. Did I miss anything? No, I think that's everything. 
So I'll put the suit back, the suit back on and I'll show you the end result. Okay, so he's back and he's almost dressed as a bat. Uh, so we have... What else did I want to tell you? Okay, so when you're getting him ready for the for the boots, take advantage of the fact that there's like some glue residue on the edges so you can lock them on the edge of the actual um, calf. And uh, when you take the boot, it stays locked in so it doesn't you don't have it bunched up in here. It's smooth. And with only one cotton pad, you have the boot looking really nice on the lower leg. There's no no empty room in the boot. And there's one. And there's the second one. There we go. So, I still need to stitch him up, but I don't have any stitching equipment at home right now, so I'm just gonna show you what, what needs to happen next, and I'll, sh I'll share the end result a little later. Now we need to put the armor back on, but it's too small for him. He's too, too wide in the under the arms. So what you need to do is you need to put these two in in the boiling water until they become plasticky and you slowly massage them out so they stretch a little bit. I did it like four or five times. I can't remember. Uh, I think I need to repeat the process at least once, maybe twice, because technically they're, they're okay okay to go but it's gonna be really um, really hard to do and I'm not sure if I want to do it like that so when you have him right here you need to pull pull this and hide it under that part I'm not sure if you can see it like this and then you need to do the same thing with the other one so yeah the longer they are the easier for you and once it's locked in place you won't really have that gap I, I think you won't have that gap so there we have the the neck bag it also locks the armor in place <clears throat> And the head sculpt. There he goes. Oh, and one more thing with the belt. The belt is going to be a little too long right now, so I need to remove one of those those uh, those parts. And uh, of course, I, I broke it, so I just put some elect electric tape just to keep it in place. Uh, I need to buy the black one. This red looks well temporarily. So we put it like this over here. Yeah. Yeah, there's the Batman. Um, what else? These. I think once you're done with, with modding him, it's a good idea to glue them like this. Um, so also they're locked in place. So when you put on the, the gauntlet, this part doesn't bunch up under this part. I'm not sure if you can see it. Look. 
if I put the gauntlet on, it, it, it doesn't really look that nice, right? So I'm sure there are ways to improve it. Um, yep, that's, that's pretty much it. And here we have the bats fully assembled, ready for, uh, for my work with the stitching and ready for action. So one thing people also do is they they trim those uh, those 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 gloves. Um, I don't know about that. Um, I might do it. Um, I'll see. Like there is just so much stuff that can be done with the guy. Oh, one more thing. Just remember to with these when you lift this part a little bit you can unplug those because they are on those um pegs they're just just put into the the back side of the armor and those pegs lock those parts inside so when you when you unplug it you're able to get it a little to sit a little lower and it creates this nice shape with with the arm so yeah that's that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.